Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you appreciate my YouTube walkaround videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walkaround video, we'd like to present you this spectacular pre-owned 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership, it's part of our pre-owned inventory and later on we'll go through the Porsche approved certified pre-owned inspection to become a CPO vehicle. In today's walk-around video we're going to highlight the build specifications on this specific car, both on the outside as the inside of course and talk about the latest generation 911 Turbo S in general. Introduced in the US market as a 992 generation in model year 2021, again this is a 2023. This one also finished in Arctic Grey on the outside, which is a new color, about a year old now with the Porsche brand. Initially introduced on the uh, Cayenne Turbo GT, also on the GT4 RS, and now this color also made its way over to the 992 generation of the Porsche 911. The 992 in general introduced as a 2020 model for the Carrera and the Carrera S um, in the US market, and then in 2021, the Turbo and the Turbo S joined the family. Looking at the front, we can see also a special exclusive manufacturer option, which you rarely see. Inspired by the 911 Turbo S exclusive series from a few years ago, where they made 500 coupes for the world and 200 cabriolets for North America, you have this very sporty stripe starting here on the front hood. Now this is a decal, original Porsche decal from exclusive manufacturer. And later on, we'll see another special detail, which we'll see in the cabriolet roof. Looking at the front, of course, the Turbo S front fascia, aggressive styling. Large intakes, both left and right hand side for the front place radiators. We can also see that this specific car has been equipped with the adaptive cruise control and right above it you can see the surround view camera system. Now the vehicle just arrived, it hasn't been detailed yet, also has not gone through the CPO inspection yet. Uh, but based on the current marketplace conditions, I wanted to post this video as soon as possible as this is a very rare car in the marketplace. This one also has the LED matrix design headlights. Now those are standard for the Turbo S, but in this case finished in black. You can see the beautiful inside housing. Headlights nowadays almost like a sculpture, piece of art versus maybe 10, 15 years ago. Love the way that looks on the 992, especially with these white fenders. The positioning of the headlights looking spectacular. Being a Turbo S, it comes standard with the Turbo S center locking wheels. Inside of the wheels painted in high gloss black as standard. And right behind it, you've already spotted it, the yellow caliper with the PCCB, the Porsche Carbon Composite Brake System, which once again is standard for the 911 Turbo S. An additional factory option that we can see here on the side is the Porsche decal again on the side with the Porsche name. Looking back at, for example, the 73 Carrera RS, of course, some classic inspired decals there. I think it looks very nice on this specific trim level, especially with the stripes on the hood, and we'll see later on in the cabriolet roof, looking very nice and sporty. Another factory option is that the side skirts on the bottom section have been painted in exterior color. Another factory option is that the side air intakes here, once again, have been painted as an optional extra in exterior color. Again, here to the back, we can see the 21 inch rear wheel, rear axle steering system standard since 2014 for the 911 Turbo S, of course, recalibrated for the latest generation. Engine is a 640 horsepower twin turbo flat six, 3.8 liter displacement. Incredible performance level, the fastest cabriolet, of course, that we make. Top speeds, top track speeds, over 200 miles an hour. And zero to 60s have been measured in about two and a half seconds, which of course, uh, for a cabriolet, a spectacular performance level. Getting here to the back, we can see that the rear wing is currently in the upright position. This is part of the Porsche Active Aerodynamics, which are standard for the Turbo S. It's also connected to the front splitter. So earlier on in the video, you might have spotted the front splitter being in the down position. So when the splitter is in the down position, the rear wing is in the up position to create the aerodynamic balance that Porsche is looking for, which of course was all developed also in the wind tunnel. Getting here to the back, we can also see that this specific vehicle is equipped with the Porsche Sport Exhaust System uh, from factory, recognizable by the oval exhaust tips. Within the exhaust is going to be active flaps to get the extra sound from the twin turbo flat six. In my opinion, the sound of this generation engine, very similar to the GT2 RS of the 991 generation. Beautiful turbo spool sound, nice deep rumble from the flat six. Just a fantastic overall flat six experience. Being a Turbo S, the slats here on the back of the engine deck finished in silver as standard. Also indicating the all-wheel drive system being standard on the 911 Turbo S and the same for the 8-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission. 
I mentioned earlier in the video, another special option is going to be the striping has also been integrated in the Cabriolet roof. Once again, inspired by the 911 Turbo S Exclusive Series Cabriolet, which was only made for the North American market with a total of 200 units. And this is actually weaved inside the original fabric. Beautiful craftsmanship from Porsche Exclusive Manufacture. Again, stripes starting on the hood, continuing here over the Cabriolet roof, just looking spectacular on this specification. Okay, so we covered most of the details on the outside. Let's have a look on the inside. Again, very nicely appointed Turbo S, many Porsche exclusive manufacture options. We're gonna start, of course, with the interior color itself. This is the black Bordeaux combination. Also, we can see it here on the door panel. The 930 interior package is standard on the Turbo S, recognizable by this specific pattern here in the door panel. Also recognizable by this specific pattern in the center part of the seat. And again, that is called the 930 interior package, which once again is standard for the 911 Turbo S. The same also here for the Turbo S model designation being embossed in the headrests. What is not standard that this specific vehicle also has the extended dashboard and door panel uh, package from exclusive manufacture. Recognizable, you can see it here on the bottom section that even the lower section of the door panel has been covered by exclusive manufacture in the Bordeaux red leather. So we have black Bordeaux, Bordeaux with the 930 interior package and then even the entire lower section here of the door finished in the beautiful Bordeaux. And then regarding the dashboard, you can see even the side panel there, right there, finished in beautiful leather. Just a incredible luxurious environment to be in. Very sporty still with the black Bordeaux, just looking spectacular. And also really the combination of Arte Grey with Bordeaux is, in my opinion, a very nice combination. You might have spotted here in the door, this one also has the Burmester surround sound system, the most incredible sound system we have within the Porsche brand as a factory option. And this one also has the LED illuminated carbon fiber side sills. What is standard is the carbon fiber that Porsche applies in both the dashboard as in the door panels for the Turbo S. But as an extra, this one has the LED illuminated carbon side sills, which again is a factory option. Sport Chrono package also standard for the 911 Turbo S. What is not standard is that this specific vehicle also has the Porsche design sub-second clock. So replacing the standard Sport Chrono clock with the Porsche design version. I am wearing my Porsche design watch as of today, timepiece. And that of course is the inspiration for the Porsche design sub-second clock. Beautiful timepiece there on top of the dashboard, looking spectacular. This specific vehicle also has the exclusive manufacture gear selector, replacing the standard version by the metal version with the beautiful black leather applied there. Different shape also versus the standard gear selector. Looking very nice. And then you can also see that the seats in this case are ventilated and heated. The seats themselves, 18 way adjustable, which again is standard for the 911 Turbo S. I mentioned, of course, this poor chrono being standard. You can see also the driving mode switch there. And we see as an extra option also that the instrument dial has been finished in white for some extra contrast. And just overall a beautiful luxurious environment to be in. Mileage on this vehicle just below 3,100 miles. Again, a 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. I want to thank you for watching this YouTube walk around video. Again, my name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach, located in South Florida. Again, my cell phone number and email is in the video description. Please enjoy the weekend. Rensport reunion is going on right now in California. There's a beautiful live stream available online. Some very spectacular Porsches being uh, driven around the racetrack, being raced around the racetrack. And of course, also the introduction of a brand new model, the Porsche 911 GT3R Rensport, a uh, race car or track car, 77 units for the entire world. And what an incredible track experience that will be for the 77 owners in the world that are gonna be able to receive an allocation for a purposeful race, race car. 611 horsepower from that naturally aspirated 4.2 liter flat six without the limitations of the FIA or the regulations for the racing classes both in Europe as in America. Again, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.